Thank you, Sarkarji. Now I call upon Shri TKS Ilangovanji. Thank you, Honorable. Her turn will come again. Vice Chairman, I fully After support Professor Rakesh Sinha's resolution because India is one of the oldest countries with rich culture. This part, I can compare it only with only four other areas in the world. One is Greece, Rome, Egypt, and India. The rest of the places were newly added. In fact, even the US is not an old thing. Only two empires, one in the one is Greece and Rome, where the cultural activities were so uh, impressive uh, where people followed. Now that they are not following our culture, they don't adopt themselves to our culture, they don't fight or they don't work to protect our culture. They are taking care of their culture and it is our duty to take care of our culture. The only place where I differ is that what is our culture is the question. I can quote one book recently uh, came, which is by India Descents. That is the name of the book, India Descents by Ashok Vajpai. Ashok Vajpai is a Hindi poet, a noted cultural and art administrator. He was also the chairman of the Lalit Kala Academy. What he says is, he says that India has different thoughts. There were many scholars who gave different kinds of uh, ideas, all Indians, not foreigners. That includes Gautama Buddha. So there are people, many people who had many ideas which are all Indian, not foreigner, foreign, not imposed by the Britishers during their period. It was all earlier to British. What he says is, India and the plurality of descent Bow to him who is the word, both occult and manifest, his glory revealed by the power of the independent mind. He had quoted this from a book called Subhashitavali, an anthology of Sanskrit words compiled by Vallabhadeva. He says that whatever idea which had come up from this land, not from foreign land, from this land should be protected, preserved. That is what I think uh, uh, our colleague Rakesh also was also saying. No British ideas. No ideas of any foreigner. We have our own ideas. We have different ideas. India had created, India is not, I'm, 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 repeatedly I have been telling that India was ruled by many kings. There were many kingdoms in India. India was so rich in culture that many people from outside India attempted to enter India and see what is available there. Maybe they have involved in some of the things that like pushing their culture on us, thrusting their culture on us. But one where in one area I differ from Rakesh Singha is that beyond Vindhyas, that is south of Vindhyas, there was a different culture. I can boldly say what Thiruvalluvar said was, all men are born equal. That is my culture. I, I come from an area south of Vindhyas. So my culture is what my so Thiruvalluvar said in my language. All men are born equal. But here it is not possible. I can quote one example, sir. The way of life of the south, southerners, it is an equanimous society. Southern society was an equanimous society. There is no difference by birth. That is very important. I can quote an example. There were four major kingdoms in the south. The Sholas, the Sheras, the Pandyas, the Pallavas. They were four major kingdoms. In none of the major kingdoms that the kings had come from the Kshatriya class. There is no Kshatriya. Concept of Kshatriya is not there in south of Vindhyas. That is my culture. So when I, somebody says that Manu Dharma is your Dharma, how can I accept it? 
my dharma is not manu dharma i don't say that manu dharma is wrong that is for them to keep whoever has wants to follow manu dharma they can follow but i don't want to follow manu dharma because in my area south of india there is no manu dharma in force a king whoever comes as a chola king or a shera king were not kshatriyas today's claim after this growth the development in the south every community says that we were also rulers they are all in the obc list and the scst list which means there is no caste difference but it has come into us so what we say is we have to preserve indian culture we have to ensure that every there were india is a vast country with huge population and there were many languages there were many languages because only because every lang culture has created a language or every language has a separate culture likewise my language has my culture i don't want to be put into this manudharma concept our society is an equanimous society i agree with rahit rakesh sinha that every culture should be protected preserved and i think he will agree with me thank you thank you elangon ji now the next speaker dr amar patnaik